Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to create FTP server under your Windows 11 operating system so you just need to follow me. So firstly what you have to do you just need to create one user account for your FTP server for that you just need to go to your start or search window and type over here uh, lusrmgr.msc okay after put this command you will see one lusrmgrmsc option over here or else you can press enter after open a uh, local user group policy you just need to click on user from your left side on your right side you just need to right click on this blank portion area and click on new user now i'll type the ftp username okay ftp server username so for example i am putting over here ftp underscore user okay now password i will set over here one two three so you can uh, set any password over here any username over here and after that I will check this uncheck this option and after that click on create after that close this window now you'll see your FTP user account over here so this FTP user can log in your FTP server as well as your Windows operating system also so for that what you have to do you just need to restrict this user to log on your Windows 11 so what I'll do is I will right click on FTP user and go to properties and here you just need to click on member of now select here users and remove after that click on apply then ok now go to groups and here you just need to double click on guests and click on add I will type my username which is FTP underscore user ok now click on click on check names now click on ok after after add this FTP user over here click on apply then okay once it will done go to your users and double click just right click on your FTP user and go to properties and check member of so as you can see guest is showing over here now what you have to do you just need to close this window now what you have to do is you just need to go to your start or search menu type over here sec pool dot msc Okay, after that press enter from your keyboard, after type this command. Now you just need to expand local policies. After under local policies, you will get user rights assignment. So select uh, that user as, uh, rights assignment. So on your right side, you will get an option called deny logon locally. So double click on it and make sure that guest is uh, add over here. So you can add user group and if 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 it is not showing over here you can add user or groups and type guest then click on check name then click on okay then apply then okay okay after that you just need to close this window so now i'll create a directory for ftp server so for that you just need to go to your this pc and uh, go to that drive which you want to share so i'm going to share this under this j drive uh, FTP share folder which I have already created as you can see under this folder you can see the three videos over there so what I'll do is I will right click on FTP share and go to uh, properties and here you will get a sharing option first click on advanced sharing then click on share this folder then click on permissions and here you just need to uh, click on add then you just need to put your FTP server username uh, in my case it is FTP underscore user then click on check names and click on ok after that click on allow and change and click on apply then ok then click on apply ok once again now click on this share option and here also select ftp user then click on add then give the read and write permission and click on share after that click on done once it will done close this window now what you have to do is you just need to set static IP for your uh, Windows 11 PC for that you just need to right click on your start menu click on settings and here you just need to click on network and internet here you will get your Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection over here so go under that option and after that here you get private and public and here IP assignment you just need to click on edit then you just need to select here manual okay so so here is my uh, DHCP IP address as you can see so I'll set same IP address for stat static so I'll type over here 
dot zero dot one four one one four two sorry the sub subnet marks will be two fifty two dot two fifty two dot two fifty two dot zero so if you don't know your subnet marks then what you have to do you just need to go to your uh, start menu type cmd now open command prompt after open command prompt type ip config then press enter now you will see your ip address and subnet marks over here so you can copy from here to here you can copy okay so you can see your subnet marks and ip address over here so now i have set my gateway my subnet marks and preferred DNS will be 8.8.8.8, .8 .8, which is the Google DNS, and 4.2.2.2, .2 which is also Google DNS. Now click on save. Now, as you can see, now it is showing IP assignment manual. That means it is static. Now close this window. Close all the window. Now, what you have to do, you just need to install FTP or server service. So for that, you just need to right click on your start menu, click on settings. After open settings window, click on apps from your left side. On your right side, you will get an optional features option. So click on that. And here you just need to scroll down. You will get more windows features. So click on that. On this window, you will get an option called internet information service. So click on this plus button beside the internet IIS option. And here you just need to select internet information service and also check web management console and worldwide web service okay after that click on okay and it will take some time to install all the features so you have to wait for a few seconds after installation done close this window now close this settings window now what you have to do is you just need to go to your start or search menu type over here iis means internet information service so click on internet information service Now, after open, you will get uh, this your computer name over here, localhost. So you have to expand. Now expand sites. Now right click on sites and click on add FTP sites. Now here you just need to put your uh, FTP site name. So you can put any name over here like I will put over here technology. And physical path, you just need to click on this three dot button. So I have already created a folder for my FTP server which is under J drive FTP here. So let me show you here. So here it is, as you can see under J drive FTP here. So now select that folder and click on okay. Now click on next. Now here you just need to uh, type your own IP address. In my case, it is 192, 168, 0.142. So here is my static ISP, which I have already set for my computer, as you can see. So now here you just need to select no SSL and also start FTP site automatically. Make sure that this option is also checked. After that, you just need to click on next. Now here you just need to click on basic and here you just need to select a uh, specified users. And here you just need to type your username, which is in my case, FTP underscore user and then I will give both the permission, which is read and write and click on finish. After that, as you can see, here is my FTP uh, server. So you can start or restart from here. Make sure that it is running over here. Okay. So after done this step, uh, minimize this window. Now go to your firewall setting. Just go to start or search menu. Type over here firewall.cpl. After that, press enter from your keyboard. And after that, you will get this window. Now click on allow an app or feature uh, through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on that option. Now here you, will, you just need to click on change settings. Now find over here FTP server. So just check this option, private and public. Make sure that both the option is selected. Now click on OK. Also make sure that your uh, Windows Defender is turned off. Also make sure that your windows defender is turned off for that you just need to click on this turn windows defender firewall on or off and here you just need to turn off the defender otherwise filezilla will not work okay so click on this ok button once it will done close this window
So now I'll try to connect my FTP server from my different device which is in same network. For the confirmation I will show you, show you my IP address. So I'll go to the start menu and type CMD and here I'll go to the CMD. So let me open the CMD first. And here I will put uh, IP config command to check my IP address. So here is my IP address as you can see. Now here I will try to connect with FileZilla. So I have already typed all the host name, username and password. So let's see if it is connecting or not. So as you can see it is connected successfully. Also as you can see I am accessing that uh, FTP server without using any third party tool to using this command just slash slash the IP address. You can also access your FTP server as a drive so for that you just need to right click and then add network location. Then you just need to here you just need to put your IP address and browse. Then here you just need to put your FTP username and password. In my case it is FTP underscore user then password and and then you just need to select your folder and then click on next and you are done. So I hope this quick tutorial will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button. And if you have any questions or question then comment down below. I will see you guys in the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.